amid growing calls for Representative George Santos' resignation from fellow Republicans back home in New York, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Republican California, is sticking by the fabulous freshman. Look, the voters decide, McCarthy told reporters Wednesday. The voters elected him to serve. That is not true. The person voters on Long Island elected last fall was the one whom Santos claimed he was, not the one he turned out to be, with his brazen inflation of his resume, the fairy tales that he told about his life story, and the sketchy, not to mention, possibly illegal, campaign and personal finances that he is yet to explain. He also faces a potential House Ethics Committee investigation though as the New York Times noted with considerable understatement, that panel is not known for doling out significant punishments. Sure, if exaggeration here and there were a firing offense in politics, both chambers of Congress would quickly empty out. But the flagrancy here is remarkable, even by Washington standards. Santos' 2022 campaign consisted almost entirely of what Nassau County GOP Chairman Joseph G. Cairo Jr. called deceit, lies, fabrication. Cairo also noted that Santos once claimed to him that he had been a star volleyball player who helped win a championship for Baruch College, an educational institution, it turns out, that Santos didn't attend. Santos continues to insist he will not resign, though with federal, local, and possibly Brazilian prosecutors on his tail, he might want to hold that option in his pocket in case he finds himself in a plea bargaining situation. In the meantime, McCarthy says he has plans to seat him on some yet unspecified House committees. Alas, the Speaker has indicated that Santos will not receive a spot on his first choice, the Financial Services Committee, presumably, the farcical implications would have been too much even for McCarthy. After Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman said his office will have no interaction with George Santos or his staff until he resigns, the congressman for now tweeted defiantly, I was elected to serve the people of hashtag New York 03 not the party VE politicians. I remain committed to doing that and regret to hear that local officials refuse to work with my office to deliver results to keep our community safe and lower the cost of living. But even assuming that Santos is sincere about this, I can't believe I just typed those words, it would seem only fair to ask third district voters how they feel about it, given the information they have now. And as it happens, there is a precedent for that kind of do-over in the move that another congressman once took when his principles came under fire. Back in 1983, House Democrats booted one of their members, conservative Representative Phil Graham of Texas, from his seat on the Budget Committee after they learned Graham had been collaborating with the Reagan White House on fiscal strategy. The Democrats called Graham a spy, Though his political philosophy was hardly a secret, he had been an architect of a massive, Reagan-backed 1981 package of domestic spending cuts and defense budget increases. Graham switched parties, resigned from Congress and ran again for the seat as a Republican. He easily won the special election, becoming the first Republican ever to represent the suburban district around Dallas and Fort Worth and the next year he was elected to the Senate. It was, in short, a gutsy and massively successful power play on his part.